All right, so I said I wasn't going to record it, and by that I meant that I wasn't going to make you sit through it. But if you want to sit through it, I guess I'll probably upload it and stick it somewhere outside of the main frame. So I've done just a tiny bit of work. I've deleted some edge loops, and I've added in this piece here just to make it so that it, there's a definite, uh, a definite line being drawn. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make it so that the back is included into this mechanical section. But the back has a much lower density, so I'm going to actually have to use extrusion to do that. So let's see what sort of loop cuts we've got in the area. We've got that one. Um, all right, so we, we need to make it so that this area here looks like a sharp edge. And to do that, we need this face, this face, this face, this face, this face, this face, and this face. Is that the only face back there? Yeah. And we extrude, move them back, move them down, scale them a little bit. Oh, I scaled them in. Move them out. There. Scale them on the Z axis. Move them down. All right, so we've got a basic setup going here, but lots of work needs to be done to make this look decent. Yeah, not too much work, actually. The bulk of the work that needs to be done is along this line here. So let's go ahead and massage this line, which we're going to do by simply smoothing all of these edges. There we go. So the only question left is what does this end up looking like here, where we've got this weird face. Um, normally I would actually delete these vertices and work at merge. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and make it so that we have uh, one continuous loop here. So uh, Control M, no, Alt M. Come on, where's my merge? There it is. And then all we need to do is fill this area in. Of course, this area is now full of uh, questionable faces. So let's go ahead and make them slightly less questionable by just adjusting this down like so. Uh, it's way too far in, though. There we are. Something like this ought to do it. It's still still a pretty questionable set of loop cuts there. I'm not not too happy. This is this is really awkward. Um, well, I don't. I guess I don't really care that much. Still, let's adjust the rest of the arm. You notice that here we have some sort of giant pouch. So let's go ahead and create a giant pouch. Uh, I actually deleted a loop cut here, but I left the loop cut here. We actually want to move this loop cut over this area. And the reason for that is because we obviously want to extrude off of these faces here. So there's our pouch. Well, a little bit of work needs to be done, I think. In order to make it look like a pouch, there's lots of ways. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, some aggressive um, uh, topology. This is probably too much topology, but that's okay. Uh, I will live with it. I'll cry myself to sleep, but you know, life goes on. Uh, I guess we can just scale x0. There we are. So that's the pouch done. It's a little bit small, so let's go ahead and uh, move it upwards into the realm of uh, being the same as the sketch. Something like this. There we are. Ooh, I did miss one. Damn. Oh well. Uh, and now we have the whole forearm area. And this is, of course, the part of every spacesuit that's the most complicated. Uh, if you're not a space connoisseur, um, the gloves of every. While well, each spacesuit can fit uh, several different astronauts depending on their exact size and build gloves are custom made so every astronaut has their own gloves 
um, and that's going to remain true here so we're going to go ahead and uh, um, just create a definite break where gloves are separated and like the legs we've ended up with quite a slender profile that we don't really need, we can't really use uh, we need to have a much chunkier profile here so there we go and uh, we're also going to go ahead and add in a control panel into the back here now this is significantly less um, uh, this is more futuristic than our actual space gloves today so we're gonna go ahead and build that in we're going to make it uh, we're going to go ahead and run with the assumption that her gloves are thin enough that she can still that she can still uh, use her fingers uh, quite efficiently on things like keypads which isn't true of, of modern um, spacesuits. You you wouldn't be able to type on a keyboard in those gloves, um, or at least that would be that would be, I would be very impressed if you could. There's our keypad, and we're going to go ahead and fill that in with keys using the texture but you can see that we've got a little bit of a bump, a little bit of a ripple. So let's just go ahead and smooth that ripple out. Like this. There you go. So we're down to the wrist, and normally there's going to be wrinkles at the wrist to allow you to... Oh, we actually... Well, that's okay, we'll put that in in texturing. There's normally going to be wrinkles at the wrist, and that's why I left this loop here, because we can adjust this loop such that it is wrinkles. We should do by scaling it up slightly and then rotating it in the direction we want wrinkles. And so we're going to do it like this, and then we're going to take this guy and we're going to rotate him in the other direction. Uh, I guess we're not going to do it very much with him after all. But that gives us a little bit of a wrinkle, and it also means that later on if we do any painting, we can paint the bones uh, differently depending on uh, which side of the wrinkle they fall on, and that'll give us a nice crisp definition. Um, I don't like this, so let's go ahead and drag it back and up. There we go. And then here and just there, I guess. That's why I didn't like it. We got a slightly awkward topology, but that's okay. It'll all work out, I promise. And now we're down to the hands, which I'm not going to touch. Um, while I did my best to try and get some decent topology, you can see that we've got some actual awkward topology going on. But in the long term, if I want the hands to actually be animated on a per finger basis, I am actually going to delete the hand and try again. So we don't need to work with it at the moment. Uh, and that's everything. All right, so this is a completed mesh. And I'll see you in the next episode for we're going to tear it apart and UV map it.